blessings to you on this beautiful Wednesday, June 19th. I am coming to you with a little bit of Oracle for inspiration. We have a lot of things going on in Cancer, the sign of Cancer. That's bringing us, that's inner feeling accepted. The moon symbolizes our inner world. So the first card that we're going to draw from is the Moonology Oracle. I'm asking for the divine message for all empaths, old souls, light workers. We know this is a very transformative time. We are just on this side of the full moon in Sagittarius at the galactic center. It's really a time for us to get in check with our emotions. A lot, a lot of stuff going on in the sign of Cancer and also in the sign of Capricorn. And what that symbolizes to me is our need to get in touch with our emotions and our feelings. Excuse me, I'm not taking that one. New deck. Anchoring that down into our everyday life, our Capricorn, our getting things done, our body, earth sign, Capricorn's earth, Cancer is water. So emotions, with all of this stuff being highlighted, I feel it's a strong, strong time for the empaths, light workers, and way showers. Get in touch with your true, authentic emotion. Chiron and Aries supports the wounded healers rising. Old souls have been around the block. And it's really a time of dropping the fear in other people's programs and not being concerned of quote, being burned at the stake anymore. We're in a whole new energy where this is supporting us. We've been givers, givers, givers mostly all of our life. So this is an also a time of being your true authentic self, walking in your light, working on healthy boundaries, self-care, possibly less doing right now in this stillness. I believe leaving the age of Pisces going into Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, what is what they say around 2020? We're in that transformative time right now. This is a time for purging. This last full moon in Sag, which is my rising sign, is a huge purge, fire sign. It's also my passion and in my rising in my first with Neptune expansion this is going to resonate with all souls that listen if you're called to this just want to give you a second to thank you for being here with me if you're new to my channel today I hope you subscribe I'm not the typical oracle or tarot reader I'm a sensitive and I'm an empath and a light worker first 40 years of my life I was consumed by emotions, and now I'm using them as the powerhouse that we're all collectively being asked to. Being at the forefront of this awakening and evolution, you know, the galactic center. With the full moon right in the center of that, I feel is huge. And the eclipses, we just keep purging, purging, purging. So this is just a little bit of inspiration. We'll go there at Surrender to the Divine Full Moon. The moon is a 28-day cycle. It's a very fast-moving system. It is our inner world, our emotions. Pay attention to the ebbs and the flows of the moon. Know that your emotions do the same thing. We're all interconnected with the oneness. I'm going to read from this book. It's a fairly new deck. I want to see what else is in this for us. Let me see if I can put this on there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Surrender to the divine. Full moon. This card is also kind of, for me, I'm. it's surrendering the everyday life and the ho-hums and realizing that we're a part of something bigger and the oneness this would support the fact that we're going into 
the age of Aquarius. That's why we're in the purges and the ebbs and the flows right now so that we can get in touch with our feelings, let our feelings be our intuition, not, not guide us as in consumed by emotions, but more so letting the heart guide you instead of the mind. And when you start doing that, you start walking into your true authenticity. And that's the biggest gift that you can give yourself, others, Gaia, in the evolution of where we're at. The very word climax brings out all sorts of ideas and images to mind. But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some time, excuse me, some kind of change and possibly even some sort of emotional explosion. Tune into the emotions now and see what they're telling you. When the moon cycle, you've pulled this card, matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favor. Attune to the moon. I am getting the answers that I need. Additional meanings of this full moon card. A wish you made may have may be about time to come true the full moon is too about manifestation so connecting into your true authentic self which is your higher self anchoring that down in getting in tune with your emotions capricorn's asking us to live it not just talk it so there could be a sense of madness in the air breathe deep and stay calm you may need to forgive someone or release negative energy. It's time to let go of the past. Surrender, surrender, surrender. This is huge too. It's about us all dropping the old programs and stepping into our own true path so that we can be the light bringers for ourselves first and then every other relationship that comes forth with that. The full moon marks the climax of the lunar cycle, making this card something of power. The full moon is often the time when answers are given to the questions asked during the new moon. So new moons, planting the seed, full moon, seeing the fruition. It takes time. Don't get frustrated. Keep yourself in check. Pulling this card at any time in the lunar cycle suggests answers will be coming your way before too long. I highly suggest everyone sitting in stillness, giving yourself a little bit of self-care every single day so that you can get in touch with your feelings. The moon represents the feelings, your inner world, and we're going into a time where that needs to be our compass and our intuition. I'm going to pull another card from the Goddess Guidance Oracle. Just a little bit of inspiration for the light workers, old souls, empaths, some encouragement to uplift us. We know that we're going collectively through a huge purge. There's a lot of endings and new beginnings. We surrender all of the worries. Human beings like to fight change. And I would definitely, with this card, surrender to the divine. That means surrender. Surrender to change. See what, what needs to be purged and cleansed out of your life. And now is more than ever an important time because you will be pushed, pulled, or dragged. Secondly, we got hard. Receptivity. Wow, this is coming up a lot to me. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to help others. There's another thing. Chiron and Aries. Receptivity directly linked to the mother. Excuse me about this. I got a glare. I was unbalanced in receiving. And as an empath and an old soul, you most likely were too at one time. Not feeling worthy to receive always being that better guys sorry always being exposed to people that were takers well this is a huge time to heal this we have to fill our own cups first receptivity is directly linked to the mother so if you have any kind of mother wounds there sit in stillness do some meditations go on youtube just type in the search engine healing mother wounds meditation whatever you'll have you, the internet is a beautiful link between 
We have all kinds of resources, just like we have divine resources. I was out of balance in the receptivity. This is about getting in balance with the feminine masculine, the doing, the giving, the receiving. We can't keep giving from an empty cup. So this also, to me, symbolizes increase your self-care. Bring this awareness into you. Was there some mama wounds? Are you... Do you feel awkward? Listen to your body. Do you feel awkward when somebody gives you a compliment? If you say yes to that, you have a problem with the receptivity. I know because I did as well, and I kept wondering why I was in lack. Why I was in lack because I didn't feel worthy to receive. How crazy is that? A light worker, empath, old soul, so in tune with your heart. But we've been in the age of Pisces, which we were give, 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 people-pleasing, emotional codependency. Collectively, we're just, it's time to heal that. It's time to bring that into your awareness. So that's beautiful. One more card from our chakra deck to go along with this reading to surrender to divine. Surrender to divine within you, your higher self. Be authentic to your emotions. Highlighted by receptivity, a good balance of giving and receiving, fill from your own cup first, increase your self-care, speak love to yourself, you give from the overflow of your cup, just like you wouldn't put an oxygen mask on somebody else when you needed to try to save them, if you didn't have the mask on yourself beautiful. I don't know about y'all, but I felt a very deep purge again with the Sagittarius full moon. It's beautiful. The Schumann resonance, if anybody pays attention to that, that's Mother Gaia's heartbeat. She's responding to the consciousness of us evolving, the way showers, the light workers, the forefront of this. And I know it's not all butterflies and unicorns. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the divine. Don't ignore your emotions and your feelings. Work on healthy boundaries and self-care. And we got perception. It's all about perception. Heart chakra. Let me see this. There's the butterfly. I just said it's not about butterflies and unicorns. Mm. Do you feel you're worthy of receiving? Because it's a perception within you. If you don't feel worthy of receiving, you won't be in balance and in harmony within yourself. Surrender to the divine. I'm going to read in this one. Green is the heart chakra. Perception. Well, we all have perceptions, right? So, as a co-creator, you're the first and foremost you have to have the well-being of yourself first. Your soul is calling out to you to get in alignment, balancing all four of the elements out in within you. I'm a Virgo, so to speak, so that's earth sign. My moon is also an earth sign, but I have fire. We all have four elements, and I have found balancing them out within myself has created so much more harmony now that's not to say that i'm not still purging i definitely do but the heart chakra is where we're headed to within the age of aquarius as the pisces die age dies and don't think for a second that, that the darkness isn't going to rear its little egoic head as we're purging and doing all this it's all about perception the world is getting more light shined on it don't allow anybody outside of you to say it's getting worse. Use your own perception on that. Settle down into your heart. Know the truth. Respect the illusion. Often our journey brings us full circle, leaving us to wonder why things happen. This is teaching us to follow through on whatever is before us. Going back is not an option. So as you're purging... As you're surrendering to the divine, as you are balancing out your giving and receiving, you can't, you won't go backwards. You have free will to go backwards, but I don't highly suggest it. 
personal inquiry of the perception card. What in my life needs tending to? How good will I allow myself to feel? So perception, speak love to yourself. Heart, sh heart chakra represented by green. Transformation in the heart. Change in perception. The unknown. The unknown, that's another thing I just mentioned, guys. Don't fight change. Don't ignore it. The biggest breakthroughs come after change, but the human has fought change for so long. We're breaking that down. We're going into the heart space, the intuition, the Christed heart, as I would like to always explain it. It's symbolic. It's not literal. The resurrection of Christ already happened. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Christ consciousness is in the heart. That's why it's always illuminated when you see pictures of it. So many human beings have taken the whole Christ literal instead of symbolically. And I'm, it was a whole beautiful door open up for me when I realized that. I surrendered to divine. Beauty, open-heartedness, appreciation. Listen, I hear people say a lot, I have to guard my heart. No, you don't. You have to do your work. You have to put in healthy boundaries you have to surrender to the divine. Look at that, I knocked it over. You have to be feel worthy of receiving. You can't give from an empty cup. Lightworkers, way showers, this is our time. Rise. Chiron and Aries. Aries was that one representative of the self. Wounded healer. There's a lot of things in cancer asking us to get in, check with our feelings. There's a lot of thing in Capricorn wanting us to anchor it down into our vessel, carry it forward, do our works, and it's about perception. Are you speaking love to yourself? Are you feeling like you're limitless and you're surrendered to the divine and the oneness that we all are? This is a beautiful, beautiful inspirational message. It's timeless, although this is June 19th, just this side of the Sagittarius full moon. Remember to breathe deep into your solar plexus. The Schumann resonance is responding to our energy as way showers, light workers at the forefront of this. When it gets intense, increase your self care. I send this to you with so much love. And until the next time, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, share, please, to get this out there. It can't happen unless you do that, I do that. I will continue to put these up. I also have a Facebook page that is the Divine Destiny, Divine Destiny and the Rise of Empaths. I would look forward to seeing you there as well if you're interested. I send this to you with so much love and namaste.